what's the roadmap to SOLIDWORKS Champion? Great, but first of all, there, there was a session that Sean O'Neill made uh, at Boost yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think it was the, the, the previous session. So you can watch if Prasad will, will send the, re the recording link in the. I was, in yeah. yeah, I was just about to share yeah. that link. So yeah, he shared yeah. it over there. Yeah, great. So uh, that's the first thing to, to see, which is the Sean O'Neill, as you guys know, he is the, the big boss of the Champions program. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, so you should check that out. But in general, there is no such thing as a roadmap to solar champions because uh, when it comes to being a champion, you're more or less hand selected. So yeah, tons of you applied, but every application is being reviewed. Okay, and what you do to yourself and to the community, that's what defines if you're a worthy uh, person to become a champion or not. So uh, I, I believe I said that before uh, with Prasad. Uh, I knew a certified SOLIDWORKS expert that, got, that didn't get into the Champions program. But back when I took, when I got accepted, I was still a certified SOLIDWORKS professional. Why? Because I was, uh, I was immersed in the community. I, I actively uh, worked with other people uh, to improve uh, the community. I uh, volunteered in many things. I, uh, I just cared about the community as much as I cared about myself. Yeah, let's put it in that way. So the Champions program, in its very core, it just wants someone who is not just here to prove his own skills, but he's also here to help others improve their own skills. He's here to showcase his thing, his skills in terms of the software, not in terms of his own personal identity. So you're not here to uh, to publish or to uh, to make a, a better brand of yourself, but you're here to uh, show people how SolidWorks helped you, uh, how to integrate it with your everyday life and such stuff. That's the kind of person they're after. But with that being said, they still prefer if you're a certified user, they prefer if you're attending their events, they prefer if you are a beta or alpha tester of the, of the software, they prefer, you know, someone that, I mean, like all these points, we can sum them up into one uh, sentence, someone who cares about the community and interacts with it as much as he cares about his own skill set. 